So they call you up, they say you're going to fight Nate Marquardt, former strike force champ, UFC title contender. What, what's your reaction? Uh, well, at first, you know, I was coming off of my last fight and, uh, you know, I was training but not really, like, ready to fight. Still was on medical suspension or whatever it was. So, you know, at first, I was kind of like, you know, what's the risk reward? Should I take this fight? Should I not? And then, at, at, you know, at a certain point, you're like, you don't, opportunities like this don't really come about, you know, every day. So when I ended up, you know, thought about it for a day and started calling up all my trainers, people, my manager, I was like, how quick can I get things going out in Vegas? And uh, we just figured it out and jumped on it and took it, you know. So now that you're back in it, do you think it was the right amount of time to take off after the loss? I mean, everything about this camp is like breaking my pattern. But it's, uh, I think, you know, getting out of your comfort zone is the only way that you really find uh, growth. You know, originally my goal is to take a little time off. You know, I, I have a newborn son. I've been grinding for that whole fight. And I was like, I'll take the rest of the summer off and try to fight somewhere in December. You know, like, uh, you know, like, take a step back for a minute. But, you know, when opportunity knocks, you, you know, you either sink or swim. So. I just looked at it as an opportunity for, you know, growth and, you know, it's, I'm never too far out of shape, you know, I'm, I'm never out of shape, but I'm not always in shape, you know, I'm never too far out. So it was, you know, eight weeks, nine weeks, I think I had eight weeks it was uh, when they called me or some, somewhere about that. So I was like, good to go and uh, started training right then and there and, you know. Picked it up, I guess you could say. So Vegas is where you plan to do all your camps from here on out? Uh, it looks like it. I mean, I really had a good experience there working at Extreme Couture and working with uh, Dewey Cooper, all those guys, Mike Atkinson over at Athletic Gains. They, uh, you know, gave me a trifecta there. Dennis Davis is cornering me as well, and, you know, he's obviously got a wealth of experience. So I really had a good vibe with those guys and, and took all the things that I've already built over a decade and then just we refine them and put them to new new tasks, you know. And so far, it's it's working out. I feel real real good about it. And plus the lifestyle, you know, it's the first time when I'm home, I wear many hats. Like I run a gym, I got wife and kids. I have to travel a lot to train because I don't have anything in my area. But I'm like an hour and a half for two hour, three hour drive. I can go there or go there uh, to get the training that I need. But this is the first time that I just lived one place, and my jo my job was fighting, training, eating, and sleeping, and it was a uh, breath of fresh air, you know, to be able to just focus on one task and not have a million things pulling me in a thousand directions. So, so is is there any one area you, you look at Nate Marquardt, obviously an extremely experienced competitor? Is there any one area you look at him and you say, I'm I'm better than him here? You know, well, I wouldn't be fighting him if I didn't think I was better than him, you know? Like, <laughs> that's kind of like a weird question, right? Uh, I know that I know his experience and I know his skill set. I know that he's a tough competitor. And you could say all this exact same things about me, which kind of makes it interesting. And, you know, do I, is there like some glaring weakness in his game? you know, that I see, ah, no, you know, but it's not always about like that one thing, it's about how you put your, how you, how you blend your moves together, how you put, you know, get your flow going. So I think that he's a tough competitor. I see that, you know, he has some strengths. Uh, obviously I was talking about power, it's the last thing to go on an aging fighter. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'm, if you're standing there or you're, you're running in and trying to, you know, force a knockout or whatever, that's how you get clipped, you know? So, kind of just, the idea is to stay patient in this fight, um, look for opportunities, create some opportunities, and capitalize on them. Uh, that's kind of the name of the game for this fight. Uh, my last fight, I went in there with too much pressure on myself to perform and came out flat, and obviously, I was the one performed on. <laughs> so, uh, this fight, you know, I got back to my roots, got back to, my normal mental state, I guess you could say, and just go out there and have fun and perform. So it's interesting the stakes because you're coming off a knockout. He's two and five in his in his last seven fights. How do you think that affects the way he competes in the octagon? 
Um, I don't know. I mean, there could be some desperation there for him. You know, I, he's like I said, he's what thirty seven, whatever. He's his his days are are limited. You know, I'm not saying that out of disrespect, but I don't plan on fighting when I'm thirty seven. To be honest, you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna if the money's great, maybe I will be. But uh, you know, I you know I'm twenty nine years old. I got a good five six years left in the sport. I'm gonna take it as far as I can, but. Uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't be, I'm not gonna be 40 years old and still fighting, you know, like, it's just, I'm gonna hang, I, I got other things I could do, uh, to make a living, but I'm, I'm loving what I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep riding it and going, so. Fans love you, like, they, they follow your career. Really? Like, they do? Yeah, they, people the do? Underground, like, people, mm -hmm. people really seem to root for you, root, yeah. to, to see you succeed, do you get a sense of that, and if so, do you bring that into your... Does that help motivate you when, when, when the days are tough? Yeah, I mean, I'm very, like, it's funny because one of my guys, Jed Michael, he, uh, MMAmedicine.com is his, his thing. He's my acupuncturist. I bring him out. Uh, he's Masters of Oriental Medicine, all that hippie stuff. I bring him out to all my fights, and, and he, uh, I was doing my workouts this week, and he's like, man, you are one, like, self-motivated mother, you know, whatever. And uh, I was like, thanks man like I don't know how to you know he's like you just nobody barks at me nobody has to tell me what to do I know what I should be doing I know what to do uh, I, I need the guidance of some coaches but you know I'm I'm driven you know I, I, I want to be successful and a lot of people you know if they if they support me and, and they, they love me like I, I appreciate that you know but I'm gonna be driven whether they want to see me fail or want to see me succeed you know and that's kind of the way people got guys make their name in the sport either everybody wants to see you lose or everybody wants to see you win but but if they're tuning in you make the money you know and and, and I'm glad to be not the heel of the sport I guess you could say I, I don't want to be the heel so I, I appreciate that uh, the one thing that bothers me though is they always say he, have, he has such a cult following you know and I'm like I love that I have a cult following because I'm not like I'm not a mainstream type of guy right like I'm pretty uh, different I guess you could say and so I can appreciate having that cult following but at the same time I'm like man when am I gonna get to the mainstream following the mainstream following gets the money you know like, that's where I'm trying to get to you know that's where the notoriety comes and you know I really appreciate the UFC giving me the opportunity giving me the uh, whatever the fight pass featured bout or main event or whatever because you know I could just be any regular guy on the undercard and nobody would get any you know but you know getting that publicity you know, it really shows that they're 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 pulling for me, and I appreciate that.